Subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet. Come on. Today is Friday. Friday. Event day here at Snowy Stockton Strength Centre. We have Dan the man up all the way from England somewhere. <laughs> so yeah, a six, seven hour drive comes to the lovely snowy highlands. So Dan, what are we doing today? Uh, it's your light and sort of repetition event session today. So be doing between eight and 12 reps on the Viking press, some weight for height, uh, some front hold, and, and a, a special event. Well, yeah. There's a special. Just, just, Dan's still speaking. Sorry, sorry, just, he's a guest. <laughs> and Tom just cuts him out. He's a guest. And he's Tom's, a, Tom's got a new toy to play with. which He's is, a bloody, uh, bloody torture. So just, just, like just a bit again. <laughs> How many times have Tom? So, guys, take count how many times Tom. <laughs> how many times Tom. You can't even say my name. Tom cuts <laughs> us out when we're speaking. Because I need to correct him because he can't speak English. Yeah. I am English, though. I like I English. Yeah. God save the Queen. Arrest in peace, Prince Williams. Save <laughs> Prince Williams. Prince Harry. <laughs> Prince Philip. Right, how see ya. Let's do this. I don't know if you want to up one, do you? <laughs> the other things you have to do for your wee brother. Just make sure you're keeping your big toe pushed into the floor, gripping the floor. There we go, man. Really good. Yep. The big toe's going to be strong. Sacramento! This is the type of weather we train in. <laughs> I think I should have lowered it down one. So we just added a little bit of extra weight. We're feeling strong today, because we had a cheap meal last night. We're gonna do some down signals for the, the next set. Everything's as per the competition, so down, down. And we, that just forces us to hold that, the weight above our head for that a little bit longer. Um, and that really helps, that really kind of puts us into we're doing good practice, putting things into motion to become the world's strongest man. Down. 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 That's better. Down. 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 And they're good enough for me. Do your sunglasses help, bro? Jesus. Yeah, but they're, they're from a uh, Viper and they're uh, made for snowboarding and stuff anyway, so perfect weather for it, innit? You know, snow, snowboarding, same thing, innit? Instead of snowboarding, we're lifting weights, so it must be good, it must be good. Polarized? Yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> that, that what those other ones have? Yeah. Oh, please. Yeah, polarized. Yeah. My hands look weird. <laughs> Eight toy. Down. 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 Not down. 
Looking at their training just now, how are they doing? Uh, good. Um, things are going well. Nathan's got them both on sort of clean diets at the moment, so if they can get through the training at the moment when we step it up for worlds and they can have more cheap meals and more donuts and stuff, then they're just going to get stronger and stronger. So it's, yeah, building quite a, quite a pair of athletes for worlds. Viking press done. Um, so Dan gave us a couple of pointers. Um, focusing my big toe on the ground at all times. Tom moves slightly back so the handle's over the midpoint of Tom's foot. Yeah, so it's in the middle of his foot. So that was quite beneficial, I think. So that was Viking press. We went up to basically two twenties a side um, for sets of 12. So we did three sets, 12 reps. Um, that felt comfortable. We're now going to come on to the dreaded forward hold. 12 and a half kilo dumbbell out in front of us for a minute and then we'll try and go up to 15 kilos next which should be amazing I'm pumped Let's focus on breathing 15 left Let's count the breaths 3, 2, 1, down Oh, if you just count breaths Okay your body knows what to do. You've yeah. got to hold a weight in front of you. Yeah. It's not a hard event. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So you just count your breathing. That number goes up, time goes up. Oh, yeah. So just stay in that zone. Ready, time. 10 seconds. 20. Halfway now, Tom. That's good. Just count the breaths. 15 seconds left. Just keep breathing. Focus on that. Last five seconds, Tom. Good. Easy now. Come on. Good, Tom. Time. Good work. And you just imagine a point in your body and just breathe into that mm. and out of that so yeah. you don't need to count it but you do go somewhere yeah and just breath is, if you can control breath you can control anything you know response to fear like the first response to fear is breathing different yeah so if you can control it you can make your body just work we'll try 15 <laughs> yeah for a, aim for a minute for a but whatever time you get you need to fail like don't stop holding it because it's hard mm -hmm. you know i want to be shouting at you to get your arm back up yeah. and like balls deep yeah balls deep Tommy. let's go that's 10. it's easy now just stay there all you've got to do is breathe 50. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Squeeze time. <laughs> Come Tommy? Yeah, it was good. Um, like I said, with these kind of events, everybody knows that I'd, it's, my mind just wanders and doesn't, uh, not very good, but I stuck out the whole minute to 15k happy. I think I had 40 seconds I was going, but then they shouted, so I kept it going. Usually I would drop it. Dan wants me to go to failure, so that's what I was doing with that. Um, and I found an extra wee boost at the end. I held it for, I could have probably held it for another five or ten seconds, so it's good, but yeah. Working the weakness is hard, that's what we need to do. And 
It's uh, very pumped, fatigued. I'd rather be at home sleeping, but it is what it is, isn't it? <laughs> what, what goes through your head to get those few uh, extra seconds at the uh, end? I mean, I try and go to a good place to like, or I try and go to someone that's uh, really kind of, really kind of like endured pain. So my yeah. mum's endured real pain. So I try and vision her or vision someone that I don't really like and really uh, kind of get in that head there. Cause you know, yeah, just someone that's suffered real pain in their life. I'll go to that place and be like, I'm just holding a dumbbell. You find that it helps having Dan up here? Yeah, person? definitely. Dan's, Dan's a coach and Dan's a coach for a reason. So any tips that he's given us, um, any pointers he's given us, so even about the breathing, you know, that's something that I've been looking into the last little while about the breathing, meditation, breathing, um, finding that place, you know, where you can go to. So even Dan saying that, that really kind of hit home with me, you know, having that focus in your breathing. If you can control your breathing, you can pretty much control anything you do in your, your physical state. Um, so that, yeah, a lot of things like that, that, that kind of, a lot of a lot of the time, it just takes someone else with a fresh pair of eyes just to kind of notice a few different things, which is um, the best thing having done up here, you know. Because over over videos and stuff, it's he's not seen all the angles and stuff. So having done up here, you can look at all the different angles, which is great. So very very appreciative that Dan made the 25 hour journey up to the Highlands of Scotland in the snow. Um, so hopefully it'll be a good couple of sessions. Dan can go away, um, he's going to kind of rectify a couple of things in the training, he's saying, um, to start the next kind of phase, um, and it'll be quite exciting to see where we go to. I'm pumped! Three, two, one. <coughs> Tom, come on. Come on. <coughs> hold the on, Tom. That's 50. You come hold. on. You want that trophy, Tom? You stay there. <laughs> yeah, muscle, Come, on. Come on. Come on. Come on, keep going, Tom. Hold that. Come on. Oh, come on. Hold that. Hold that. Hold that. One minute three. Hold oh. that. Hold that. Hold that. Hold that. Hold that. We are now on to keg toss. So it's uh, 18 kilograms keg. Yep. And it's six singles. And we're just going to. Use the rugby goals as guidance, just about as good as to uh, throw it as high as we can. And we've got Dan here again to observe us and put us through punishment. Had enough punishment already. But it's had one shoulder pump, yeah. and it's. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Looks like I'm at the Olympia. <laughs> right, let's do this. How heavy is the keg today? 18 kilos, mate. Tom thinks we should fill up to 30 kilos. I don't know why. See the first shot we did each? It was two who can hit the crossbar. Wonder who's gonna win. Just trying different things, so obviously you've got the two handles normally in the keg, but I've seen a couple of guys keep their hands close and just grab the lip and flick it up. Um, so just going to give it a go. I think now's the time to to try it in training. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. There's no harm done. Experimenting is what we're doing here. Really explosive. I think it's no, harder it's to show sure. anyway because we don't have that visual line. Like, you know, yeah, you've we're just chucking it, so it's like, so at least when you have that line, you know, then more power, less power, yeah. where to stand, etc. So, yeah, uh, we're just chucking it in midair yeah. basically. Just making sure that uh, Tom and Luke are being really explosive, getting as much power into the keg as possible, and getting a bit of consistency with when they let go of it and you know the trajectory and getting their own system in place so guys as you can see we got a new piece of kit from her uh, from rebel strength the hercules hold today we're just going to have a wee feel for it get some height right the right heights for us put some heavy weight on and really feel the kind of strain like you would at the giants live shows obviously this is my weakness 
I've been getting some specialist help for my grip, so this is the day we'll find out if it's been helping or if it's not. I've been doing some other grip exercises that I've been improving, so this is the main one. So we'll soon find out and uh, stay tuned. Hercules holds up next. So when you grab it, go right under so it twists all your skin up. Look at this. So turn your hand more like that so then it'll pull your skin into a big bump. It'll feel f***ing horrible. But... I'll hold this right, if we pull this one together, top one. We'll reset it, don't worry, it's just... Right, ready? We'll take it right up top. Clement Hussey. Left hand again. I felt uncomfy that gripping it. The right side felt better, like not gripping it. Because I was just slipping the whole time. Oh, feel your time. I never got your time, sorry. Okay. Ready? Yeah, my work, yeah. Ten seconds. Fifty. Oh. Breathe now, Luke. One minute. All you've got to do is squeeze. Focus on the hands. Oh, I don't feel like the dead light. I don't think it helps that we're not on flat ground either. Um, so that might be something we could change, we could maybe put on the concrete there and have pads um, underneath where the weights drop just to take the impact, that might be something we could look at you could just feel it kind of a little bit rocky on the plate um, but it's okay, it was good, my, my grip felt okay thank you Rebel Strength for the Hercules hold, much appreciated Focus on your hands. Oh, that's going, that's going. When, I, when I'm feeling it going. So when I'm at 40 seconds came, when you said squeeze, I can squeeze, but it's just, it's just literally, I'm squeezing and it's just opening up. I can't stop it from opening up my hands. Don't say it's going. Yeah, but I wouldn't have got, like, no, it's 18 seconds, but, I wouldn't have got, gonna, but, Yeah, but what I'm saying is, like, I see it world when you were there as well. You had it and you said, oh, it's going, and it went. And then as soon as you say it's going, you open it. So it's like a trigger thing as well, I think. I know I know what you're saying, if it goes, it goes. But then if you're telling yourself, I think you, you saying that verbally, it doesn't help. So if it goes, that's fine. But you're going, as Dan says, it, it, it's, got, it's gone. It's not going, it's gone. Does that make, like, if that makes sense? Yeah, I'm you. But this is awkward, this is going to be the most awkward setup just now. Yeah. How we've got it. Because eventually we'll have the pins up We'll get it all nice and right, we'll be flat on the concrete. There's nothing to talk about. <laughs> Let's wait and do another one. This Tom is about 17 feet tall. He's uh, higher up than me, so his arms are more parallel. If, I'm, if I go to Tom's site, my arms are more at a, an upward angle, so I want my arms to be parallel. So we're trying to keep the angles the same when we're both doing it, so it's a... a truer representation of how Tom and I are both doing. So we're gonna do, I'm gonna do one more. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Yeah. Two. Put all your thought in your hands, just squeeze. One minute. Last side, come on. Minute 10. Last set. Stay. Last set. 
Stay there, Luke. Come on. <laughs> that was dizzy. Three, two, one, let's go. Let's go, Tom. Just focus. Breathe, Tom. Just breathe. You stay there all day. 20 seconds, Tom. Focus, Tom. Just farmers, Tom. Just breathe. Just dig in, Tom. Is that head? 40 Tom? seconds, Tom. Head. How bad do you want it? You gotta go to that dark place, Tom. Come on, Tom. Come on. Hold it, Tom. Stay there, Tom. 50, Keep Tom. squeezing. Come on. Over a minute. Get over a minute, Tom. Squeeze, Ugh. Tom. Come on. There you go. Stay there, Tom. Uh, squeeze. Uh, One minute, uh, Tom. Uh, squeeze, uh, Tom. Uh, there you go. There you go. See, that's the tribe. Oh, that hurt. That's the guy. That's the tribe, though. No. Oh, I gotta let go. If you had that mindset going into that Hercules holding worlds, you'd be world's strongest man. That's the difference. That's the difference. It's it's not the strength, it's your mindset. And that's uh, it's good that I was holding it with fingertips at the end as well, because yeah. yeah. I would have just that's usually let that's let's, a Mark's effort. Yeah. Oh, that was so this is Mark's effort, that's that's that is when you're like fingertips. Yeah. So now you can see what a Mark's effort is. I say, oh, okay, I can do that. It's alright, <laughs> I deserve my cheap meal. Happy? Yeah, it's alright. St. Albert Hall, Mark Felix, no more. In that last set, I took my hand, my head away from the hands and went somewhere else, which was good. And then, obviously, the last 10 seconds, I started screaming like a girl, and it was good. So. <laughs> but I, I totally went away from my hands. Usually, as I think everybody's seen on TV when they're at the comps, I, I feel very uncomfortable doing the Hercules. As soon as I it lets go, I'm all over the place. I'm not stable. I'm thinking about my hands right, whereas I really should just squeeze and just go to that place. Same with the front hold as well. You know, I squeezed and went to a different place there. So as long as I'm hitting them good, then it's fine. In basic terms, all you have to do is think about squeezing your hands. Yeah, that's it. It's Hercules holds just the same as a farmer's hold, but your arms are in a different place. And you know, Tom's farmer's hold are really impressive especially when you look at you know Hercules hold in the past and if we can translate that to this event then yeah no more weak links really mm. that's the that's the plan decent so a decent wee event session this was a light event session tomorrow is the heavy one excited for that thank you so much for coming up yeah, Dan. it's been a pleasure man you're going to stay with us for a couple of nights yep the highland hospitality will kick in now <laughs> we'll have a couple of bottles of whiskey get prepared for tomorrow so thank you very much Dan. much appreciated um i've only been working with you for a couple of weeks now but it's been fantastic yeah. no, really it's have. been a pleasure man pleasure's all mine big tommy <laughs> stay safe smile stay spicy and please keep ringing that little bell come on guys <laughs>